little trippy the other day. Yeah, it was mad. I was out walking yesterday um, up at Times Square, and it just come over, and it was, all, it was quite quite cool. We got some good, cool photos and stuff. Yeah, it's quite cool. Tiffany, I want to come to you. You've been pretty vocal about this this fight. Is that genuine hostility, or is it just promoting the fight? It's what it is, man. I, I speak my truth. That's how I feel. Yeah, so. You know, everything that I, I speak out, you know, I'm just trying to make it into existence. You know, um, law of attraction, you know, um, having good faith in it and just put on a show and giving what the fans really want to see, you know, an outstanding performance. If you conquered the lightweight division, what would it mean to take over the junior welterweight division? Oh, it means everything. I mean, what is the takeover if he doesn't take over the guys that are the kingpin of the division, right? So when it comes to Josh Taylor, junior welterweight, uh, he is the guy, and that's the guy that you gotta beat to be the greatest, right? So this is what we aim for all the time. You know? Yeah, Josh, I want to come back to you. Same thing. There's been a lot of talk. You know, you guys have been promoting this fight, and it's gotten nasty at times. Is that genuine, or is this just uh, two two really great showmen promoting a fight? No, I think it's a little bit genuine. You know, he says what it means. Um, I mean what I say as well, and so I got that wrong there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I say what I mean as well. So yeah, there's a little bit genuine just dislike here. Um, he's been disrespectful, so yeah, and a lot of words he's said I'm going to make him pay for it on Saturday, so yeah, I can't wait to get in there and get touring amongst them. What do we see Saturday night? Josh Taylor win, that's all, possibly by KO, nice and early as well. Yeah. T, I want to come to you, what do we see Saturday night? Big, <laughs> big smile. Yeah, man, I uh, worked my ass off, man, about 11 weeks of camp, this one being 12, but five week we don't really count. Um, you know, for me, I think it's just really uh, the best version of me that I have yet to see in myself. You know, I, I question myself because I know I'm greater. And every true artist always does that. We aim for perfection, but there's only one perfect person that's perfect, and that is God. So for me, I think it's just practice makes improvement. And we've improved since my last fight, and we're ready to put on that show. And I think that we will win, most definitely. And I believe that, uh, you know, I'll be what? Two lineal, two time world champion. That's dope. I want to ask you the, the same question. A couple of years since we've seen vintage Tio, and I think you would agree it's been a couple of fights since we've seen vintage Josh. How do you forget about the past appearances that you've both recently had and put on the best possible versions of yourself Saturday night? Start with you, Jim. Listen, we, we could both go on our uh, previous performances and say, you know, you're only as good as your last fight, but I believe that's a lot of shit, you know, I, I prepared crap for the last fight, so I performed crap, you know, he, I believe he was the same, takes the eye off the ball, um, and he, he performed crap as well, you know, so we both got the bit between our teeth here, you know, he's he's up against the king of the division, I know he's a good fighter, the, the version that beat um, Lomachenko is a very good fighter, that's the version that I'm preparing for, so... Um, it, it's, it's all about your preparation, and this time I've prepared diligently and to the best of my ability, and you'll see the you'll see the best of me on Saturday night. Teal, same to you. We want to see that vintage Teal Lopez on uh, Saturday night. Are you there? Fuck yeah, I'm there. Heck yeah, man. I'm excited about this. This is like a, a dream come true, turning into reality. I mean, what more can you really shoot for? You know what I mean? This guy, no one really has called out Josh Taylor. Who knows why? Maybe because he beat everybody already. So for me, I'm here. I'm here to come in there and take everything that you got. That's where we are. The takeover. Good. Where what? Isn't nice try good? I can't wait to come and try. Can't wait. Oh, ain't no trying with me, man. Yeah. That's just the thing, though. That's, That's the all it's going to be. It's going everybody to be got a plan until they get punched in the face. Shout out to Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson again. Here we go. Clown. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Any quotes are your own? I do have one. I just made it up yesterday. I think it says, aim for death. <laughs> For that's where life begins. Oh, okay. Wow. No comment. I think it's a good one. You aim at death, for that's where life begins. Everybody's scared of death. I don't know why. We're all going to die. But at least if I die, I'm dying for something that, I, that means something that's going to last forever. That's what greats are all about. Something that you don't really know. That's what it is, man. Hey, at the end of it all, I'm ready to take over, put on the show for everybody. Listen, um, it's been a great run. Thank you to Top Rank, thank you ESPN for the love and support. 
uh, for myself, what well, is my seventh year now as a professional and about to be a seven time world champion within that time frame. I mean, that's great. At 25 years young, I mean, this is what we're all about, man. Remaking history, making history, and giving the fans, giving the kids, the youth, a good thing to follow on. They need that. They need that, that, um, that motivation to know that they could do it too. The only way you can, there's earth, there's man, and in between that, you bring the realization within yourself from the heavens.